click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Russ here coming with a fantastic chemistry video and today we're going to talk about naming reactive intermediates, just the types of them. Not, we're not going to go into the formal IUPAC naming here, just the types of reactive intermediates that are shown here. This one has a single electron on a carbon, so this is a free radical. However, the free radical is adjacent to a double bond, to an alkene. So this is an allylic free radical. Now, if you want to be more specific, you could say it's a secondary allylic free radical. But allylic free radical is what I'm looking for. Here we go. Here we have a carbocation. More specifically, it's a secondary carbocation. Secondary carbocation. You have your central carbon has a plus charge, and there's two alkyl groups flanking it. That's a secondary or second degree carbocation. All right, moving on. This one, so we have a carbon with a negative charge. That's called a carbanion. More specifically, it's a primary. So the lone pair is on a carbon that has one alkyl group attached to it. So this is a primary or one degree carb carbanion. Over here, we have a negative charge on the central carbon that has one, two, three alkyl groups on it. That is a tertiary carbocation. Or carbanion, excuse me. It's a tertiary carbanion, not a carbocation. Next one. So here we have a CH3 positive. Well, CH3 we all know is called methyl, right? So this is a methyl cation. Methyl cation. And finally, we have a, what appears to be a primary cation. However, it's attached directly to a benzene ring. This is a benzylic carbocation. Now, this was just a little quiz on how to identify certain types of reactive intermediates. There are other ones, of course. There's, you know, methyl cation, primary cation, secondary cation that I haven't done in this little quiz. You need to know all of those, of course. You need to be able to identify allylic cations, allylic anions, allylic radicals, you know, benzylic anions, things like that. You have to be able to do it. This is just a little quiz to kind of give us a little refresher. So make sure you go back into your notes, into your book, and learn all the other uh, reactive intermediates that you have to know for your organic chemistry class. Now with that, if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and slap that like button, throw a comment down below, let me know how you're doing in organic chemistry. Let me know the kind of things that you're working on in organic chemistry. Maybe I can make a video to help only you. And if you could, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really does help me as a small creator when people subscribe, and it also keeps me motivated to make more videos for you guys. Now with that, I wanna wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbets at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.